Hello YouTube, this is Greg. I'm going to show you something that I didn't enjoy doing, but I'm very glad I did it. And that is cutting Lego train junctions. Main reason I did this was because, you've seen my city, I don't have a huge amount of space and I wanted to run two train tracks and I wanted to be able to have the train swap between the junctions, uh, between the tracks. So, normally you end up with this massive gap here which is 16 studs side to side. What we can do is actually halve that relatively easily. And if you want to go a bit further, you can actually get it down to, I believe it's six studs. I haven't gone that far. It's a pretty simple process. What we're going to do is cut the track. Now this is already cut and I'm not going to cut more track at the moment because I don't want to. We'll just dismantle this and I'll show you one of these junctions. So here we have a standard Lego junction. One thing I noticed when I was putting this together as well, which I have twigged before, but just how disruptive it is, is this extra gap here as well, where this doesn't line up. Just all kinds of design questions about why this is done the way it is. But what we're going to do to actually cut this is I used just a plain old Stanley knife with a fresh blade. Kids, get your parents to do this for you. Don't try and do this yourself. Trust me on this not a good idea and then just a small file so I've just used a small metal file just to finish off what you can also do if you want to is use a saw that works as well some people use electric ones some people use hack saws it's not a perfect science because of the way you have to cut it but it's pretty close so what I'll show you is let me just pop this off here I've just got these tracks on here what we're actually aiming to achieve is to cut it like that. Now the reason you want these bits here is because they form a bit of an overlap and give it a bit more rigidity when you put the two side by side. So I'll put these together and you'll see what I mean. There you go. Now I did cut this one first which is why there is a slight gap there bigger than I would like. That was the first one I did. Um, but overall the trains don't notice it all lines up perfectly because it's been cut right in the middle so all you're effectively doing is cutting half of these off and then you're also cutting where the sleeper meets the track as close as you can so the reason that gap was there was because I'd cut it just ever so slightly back now if you're going to go for an even tighter junction, like I said, the six, you would actually cut it on that one. So you can see how it would actually line up that far. It's literally as simple as cutting that, but I didn't want to do that one. That was going too far for me. I'm going to stick with the eight. So let me just put this together and you'll see how much closer together this now is and how much better it is, in my opinion. It also, has one other benefit which I'll show you which is a minor thing but if you have mild OCD like me is a good thing here we have our two junctions look how close together they are that is now eight studs this is much much better you can put a train platform in there quite comfortably and it'll look right and the other thing is that the everything now lines up at the ends like I said before, when you have the normal junctions, it ends up being about two studs out either end, which is just messy in my books. This is much better. And if you look at a lot of the aftermarket ones, this is how they work. It's pretty simple to do. It's pretty simple to cut. Like I said, I did mine with a Stanley knife and I did the tops and then I snapped it because it actually gives you a nice clean cut. Just finished off the ends on these tracks. You can see this was the one I did second. How much closer I got that one to finish it off. And again, you just file it down. Put two two by four studs uh, plates on there on each one. So again, two by four, and that's it. You're done. There is your track joined together. Oh, obviously, if you're finishing off your track, you can put flat plates on there, you can do whatever. 
Not everyone's gonna be up for cutting junctions. I confess I was very, very nervous about doing this and I'm so happy I did because it meant I could run two train tracks without them taking over half of my city. So there you go. Let's go and try it out on the track now. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm gonna show you some trains running around the tracks now with this in place. Let me know what you think, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. So here is the crossover in situ on the track. You can see it's much, much closer together now. It's not taking up half of my city to have an inner track like this, which is, makes me very happy. I've put my emergency station that I did the recent tutorial on here. If you haven't seen that one, the link's in the top right. I think this looks very good now in here. This is similar to a piece that Lego used to sell that they don't sell anymore. And it solves the problem for people like me who want to have more train track with less space. So let's run a train around and see how that works. Here it comes. As you can see, absolutely no problems at all. Let's run that slowly so you can see it. And no issues at all. No movement, nothing. Train just glides on through there. By the way, this is my passenger train with the Jacobs bogies. If you didn't see that tutorial, it's in the top right. Love this train. Few people have done my tutorial and sent me pictures of their trains. It looks fabulous. I'm very happy with it and I love seeing people do things like that. So that's my little video on this. Let me know what you think. If you've done this yourself and if you've done it a better way, a different way, or have you tried to do something a bit more creative and make a different style of junction. Love to see what you've done. In the meantime, here's my train doing some laps. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.